access is more than information management. It can be a fun drawing tool, too. I met online with other access developers in the Bay Area. Turns out, it's Steve's birthday! So we modified party words in a table for Steve, and then Access made a birthday balloons report for him. You can see how the code works, and download this to make fun birthday cards for others. Happy birthday, Steve! The party words, these are words that go in the balloons. Just a bunch of words in here and whether or not that word is active. Mm -hmm. So let me first filter for the, uh, I'll, I'll just sort these. So um, I'll say uh, sort, uh, selected to cleared. So here's 16 words selected. And I forgot how many words the actual report actually shows, but they're going to apply randomly. Maybe we want some things that have to do with access. Well, let me sort first by the party word, and then I'll sort by selected to cleared. I do have access on here, although I didn't select that for the last. Oh, here we go. So we'll mm -hmm. select access for Steve, mm -hmm. and now I come down here. There's 17 selected. So I, we can just put whatever words in here might apply to Steve. Candles, caring, dreams, flowers. Well, maybe not flowers. Um, friends, harmony, hope. Basically, we can select words here. Have you got chocolate in there? Oh, no, I'm going to ask. No, no, no. Let me, uh, let me add it. Steve, so let Steve me add to chocolate. Have chocolate in there. All right. So chocolate. Oh, that's a good one. I know a lot of people like chocolate. And the default for new words is selected. All right. What else would be a good word for you? Gravel. Gravel. Oh, yeah. Steve went to Iceland. Gravel. Gravel. Okay. Not gravel, travel. Travel oh, as in travel, going, travel. Going to Europe, yeah. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't figure out why you wanted to say that. <laughs> okay, what yeah, else? I'm working in construction, but not gravel. No. <laughs> construction is good. Yeah, let's see. And photography. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I, I see. Think I already have pictures in, the in here. But I'll, I'll put photography in, too. What else? That's probably enough, yeah? Okay. The idea. Now, now let me just filter it for the ones that are, that are selected. And, yeah. To 20, okay. So, yeah, 20 is more than will fit. What it's going to do, uh, all right, so let's knock out some of these ones that are selected that we maybe not want. What should you can take out pet, pet. Okay, take out pets. All right. What else can we take out? Sing. I didn't get that. And number 31. Oh, sing. sing. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. That That's a good number. 18. I, I think that's a few more than <laughs> we actually can print. But now I'll close this. Save the party words. Those are all the ones that are active. And now I'll just open up this birthday balloons report. Who's the special guy? It's Steve. And I'll no. exclamation point. Okay. And here's your birthday balloons your bird. nice oh you probably didn't want yoga either <laughs> yeah only goat yoga <laughs> so okay. basically what it does is it looks at all your party words and then it just randomly 
chooses some. Now, I'll, I'm going to close this. I'm going to take out yoga because I'm pretty sure you, that's not a good one for you. I, I could be wrong. Doesn't matter. But now when I open it again, it's still going to ask me, okay, who's the special person? Steve. And now yoga's gone and it also randomizes the colors. The public version actually starts the birthday balloon colors with the same color every time. And I found that really kind of boring. So <laughs> I randomized it. But all the code is open. So you can do whatever you want. But basically, you know, you can change anything. Just give somebody special some birthday balloons and Hopefully it can help make their birthday happier. So happy birthday, Steve. All right. So there's your card. Don't happy say, birthday, Steve. Never, don't say we never got you anything, Steve. Yeah, uh, I won't say it. <laughs> and sometimes I'll run it a few times just to get something that I like better. And notice that also inside the balloons, if the word is long, it makes the text size smaller so it always fits in the balloon so mm -hmm. like construction you see that green one down near the bottom that's uh -huh. that's a long word so it's even smaller letters so do you use code to check the uh, word length before you before you uh, put it into the balloon Exactly. Yeah, I am checking the the text width, and you can look at the code. It's all open, so you can see what it's doing. Happy birthday, Steve! Thanks. All right. And good we'll, meeting. We'll see you uh, next month. Maybe you could send him a balloon card. I see some patterns in the placement of the balloon images there, but I also see a lot of randomness. How do you accomplish that? Yeah, yeah. It's interesting that you asked that. So what I do here is behind this report, this this um, draw balloon, that mm -hmm. only draws one balloon. So it's the code behind this report that's placing them. And at first what I did was like just total random, but I didn't like the way that turned out. So what I do now is I do rows. So this happy birthday, Steve, smiles and peace. These are all in row one. I'll change their Y position. And then these rainbows, harmony, chocolate candles, these are all in row two. And I staggered them. So instead mm -hmm. of just doing something totally random, I actually placed them. So mm -hmm. if I go to take a look at the code behind this birthday balloons report, let me go to... You rerun that, you'll get those shapes in the same positions again. Right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The shapes are in the same positions. Mm -hmm. It's just the colors and what's inside the balloons that are changing. Okay. All of this is open, so just dimensioning a database, a record set, and then some variables, and the start words. Now, the start words I'm doing as an array, like happy birthday, and then whoever you put mm -hmm. in there to who, because those are going to be repeated. Yeah, and comes in. You, you could um, change this to like happy anniversary or what it's doing right now it's setting this balloon radius to one inch now even though the balloons are oval shaped that's still the radius because when it draws the circle you can give it an aspect and you can specify a height to width ratio now it's setting this rainbow colors which is an array and now the starting color number it's just going to get a random integer from the lower bound to the upper bound of the array just so it can 
be different on the colors each time, even though the positions are still the same. And the start word is the lower bound of whatever the start words are. You could have put Marianne, like a two name name. So I, I don't really know how many names you put in those start words. And I didn't actually put the code in here to reduce where it puts the final thing because I don't know if you notice or not, but on the bottom of this, it also prints happy birthday Steve again on the bottom, which I did still want to stay on the page. So if you had more words here, like if it was Steve, whatever your middle name is, and it was two words, then this isn't going to really work out right. Even to cut back on the number of balloons there. To, yeah, yeah, I want to cut back. Blanket. So here uh, I'm setting like a balloons in each row. Now I'm doing like five balloons in the first row, four balloons in the next row, five balloons in the next row, you know, just to give it some variety. And here I'm figuring out Okay, what's the middle balloon? And each time I'm figuring out the X center and the Y center for the balloon, just based on this logic that I put in place to kind of stagger them. And now it's just writing from one to however many balloons are in that row, sending it to the draw balloon procedure and it's figuring out the word and it's figuring out the color and now it finally just draws this balloon in whatever place we figured out it should go and the color is the colors actually aren't that random there they start randomly but then they go in order of the rainbow colors that could be changed. It, they could be totally random. And now I'm getting just what is the next color number, the, what's the next coordinate, and that's kind of it. You can take a look at this code, but um, the actual balloon code, we're sending it the center and uh, of the coordinate. We're sending it a radius. We're optionally sending it a color which I'm kind of sending all the time. If a border color isn't sent, if it's a negative number, there won't be a border color. And um, if there's text in there, there doesn't have to be. The text is not going to be anything by default unless you send it. You can send it a font size. That's just a starting font size because if the text you send it is longer than the space it will fit in, then it scales it. And we can send it a font color. So here, when we're coming down to when we're going to print the text, if we have text in there, then we're going to set the for color for the report to be whatever color we sent. The font size is going to be whatever we sent. However, what we're going to do is we're going to test the text width and we're going to make sure it fits. And if it doesn't fit, then we're just going to go through this loop and we're going to decrease the font size by one until it fits. And then we print it. So what's which, a report? Which object, which object is that addressing? The balloon graphic? The uh, text width? Well, this is just the text it's, in the balloon. It's already, it's, it draws the balloon here. All right. it's, yeah, so dot at that represent, at, at that point represents the, the circle. Oh, it's using, it's using the report object. Okay, so, so report dot text width. So text width <laughs> is a okay. method on oh. a report object where you can give it the some text and mm -hmm. it'll tell you how, how wide the text is based on your font size right so it'll tell and and all of this is in twips 
And oh, and you're, oh, if there that we are. text width is wider than the radius times the aspect, the aspect uh -huh. is the height to width ratio, uh -huh. then right. we're going to decrease the size. And uh, okay, I see. Loop through that. Or an H loop then. All right, okay. Got it. So the colors changed, but the positioning is the same. Okay. Exactly, yeah. I And like I said, I did random positioning when I first wrote this, but the random positioning just a lot of times I had to do it like 10 times before I actually liked the way it looked. So <laughs> I decided I was going to absolutely position the balloons. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is just something fun. So when people are having birthdays, you can go in and edit these party words specifically for them. Turn things on that they would like. Email this, send it, you know, show that to them as a picture. Or I guess you could print it out, too, and just give it to them if you have a color printer. Mm -hmm. Or even if you don't, you can still print it out and give it to them. You could carry your laptop and flip it open to show them and then close it. Yeah, yeah, you could do that too. Or what you could do is just generate the report and then save as a PDF. Oh, not save as. I mean, export, export. to PDF. Mm hmm and just make a happy birthday, Steve. This isn't the best one. I would do it again. And if you want to get fancy, you can bring up your email connection and, and mail it as an attachment. Yeah, yep. you could do that. So you could save this file anywhere you want. And then you could send them the PDF of that. Or you could also do a print screen and get a JPEG, save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Did you have trouble with the strings, the balloon strings? You uh, know, it's funny you mentioned those. <laughs> 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 because, um, you know, and you, you can see in the code what I did. I just went like a certain percentage down from each balloon. And, uh -huh. Yeah, that was one of the things when I did them all randomly is that right. the strings would like go on top of other balloons. And right. so that's another reason why I did it this way. And uh, I wrote, you know, like from the top down so that all the balloons go on top of the previous strings. And I thought about putting like a little dot in the middle of the bottom and kind of like gathering them all like a bouquet. But the mm. problem is, I can't rotate the ovals. I couldn't, no. like, I couldn't rotate them. So it would have kind of looked funny if the strings would all be going to like a center point at the bottom, but the balloons themselves were still all upright, not slanted. Right. And this this seems to work. I was checking to see if there was any, you know, overriding or any, you know, oh, any strings oh, down at well, the, the thing about the drawing, too, is if you draw things outside the canvas, you don't get an error. They just mm -hmm. don't show up. So, yeah, okay. you know, like at the bottom, those that uh, on the bottom left and the bottom right, well, all of the bottom ones, except for the green one, the bottom part of the image isn't showing because it's off the canvas, but I don't get any kind of an error when I draw off the canvas. It just won't show up. Okay. Good work. All right. If you, uh, if you cut the number of words down to, uh, you know, 10 or so. It would so... start repeating the words. So oh, it what, does. It, what it does is it cycles through the words. If I go to party words, and let's say that I take off one, two, three. Let me just start taking some of these off. Mm -hmm. 
now I only have 11 words. So if I go to the design view of this, and then I go back to the print preview, you can see that the words will start to repeat. So mm -hmm. I have laugh in here twice. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's going to, it's going to complete that pattern no matter how much data you give it. Right. And what it does is when it generates the record set, it puts a random function in there so that it sorts it by the random and it opens it as a snapshot. So mm -hmm. not a Dyna set. So it doesn't keep on recalculating. It opens as a snapshot. And then it'll just keep on cycling through those words. All right. Nice. Happy, Happy birthday, Steve. Never. Happy birthday, Steve. Thanks. Oh, I think I'm just having way too much fun with access. <laughs> Sing got taken off the party word list, but here's a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Steve. Happy birthday to you.